Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 in the Work Lessons 101 journey. So this uh, episode is targeting starting a brand. Um, so I'll have to admit, um, again, I'm an engineer by education. Um, I work in the construction industry, so I had honestly no idea how to start a brand, how to market, how to build a brand. I did work for a time uh, being in business development, um, so I understood how to brand a massive corporation and understood def how to build um, an internet company or a brand supporting a book to try to get published. Um, so I reached out to um, my group of contacts, um, and one of the young employees that I was actually mentoring um, mentioned that I should read Crush It. Um, which it targets exactly how to make build a personal brand through social media. Um, so I read Crush It and Crushing It, the sequel of the book, um, and it gave me a ton of ideas. So I realized that I definitely needed to get onto social media and to target my demographic, which is anywhere from the ages of 18 to 25. Um, some of my test audience have been older and some of the material and content of the book definitely gravitates into the 25 and 30 market, but I still have always maintained because the title of the book and the majority of the content is targeted towards college level students and people starting out in their career um, and really targeting the critical work lessons that they don't uh, prepare you for in school. Um, I still kind of wanted to target that younger early 20s market. Um, and then through the research of crushing it and my own research, I definitely realized that Instagram was going to be one of the big um, social media platforms that I'm going to choose. But the one thing he does, uh, Gary Vee does talk a lot about in his book is about multiple social platforms and how they target different areas and people use social media for different reasons. Um, so even though I primarily always saw my social media through Instagram, I realized that I definitely needed to diversify, um, kind of, you know, sorry, diversify um, my, uh, my platform. So through research, I chose to go primarily through Instagram and LinkedIn. Um, Instagram, you've given me the younger demographic that um, doesn't seem to be on Facebook, that seems to be on Instagram. It also gives me the content and the work lessons and the, and the daily content that I can post targeting my age bracket um, or my demographic. LinkedIn kind of gives that professional um, credibility to it. Um, I also think LinkedIn has a huge potential uh, in the career development, talent development spectrum. So I feel in the big picture, in the long term, that talent LinkedIn will be an area where I very, 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 very much want to have a presence. Um, but also reading Crushing It, I learned there's other reasons and other things I could branch out. Um, and I, I really do want to meet and greet with the audience that gravitates to the content or even people who don't gravitate to the content and see why they don't so I can maybe improve my book or improve, improve my own platform. So I would like to, you know, obviously branch out to YouTube, which is where these videos are going to be primarily posted because, again, people might want a longer version of the journey, might want to be able to send me questions that they're struggling in their own career. Um, and how I roll out my content may not be relevant to the issue that there is concerning them right there and then. So I do encourage people to um, direct message, message me your questions. I will videotape a lot of the Q&As and post them so not only yourself gets the answer, but for everyone to, have to learn in the sharing um, and the content of it. Um, so that's kind of where I've decided to, to target is Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube and of course I'm gonna go on Facebook because it is still the largest social media platform and I think it would be a mistake not to get on Facebook especially if um, they change in the future and they become the new Instagram um, so to speak um, so that was kind of the first step so the first step was to pick um, what plaf social media platforms I was going to choose to help brand and market my content for my book and to branch in, out into um, my company. So um, I had decided on that. So the next step was is to create a logo um, that resonates with people. So when they see it, they think my brand. 
Um, so this is where I really struggled. I'm not um, an artistic person. I love to write, but that's kind of where my artistic ability um, ends. I've never been great with graphic design or drawing, but with all the softwares out there, um, this actually wasn't that big of an issue. Um, so I started just vaguely through uh, friends of mine in the marketing that I met, met through my time in business development. They said, go to Canada, um, you know, do your Instagram graphics there. Um, so I worked with the program. My first set of um, logos did come from it. Um, but they were very vague. I, I didn't, wasn't sure if I wanted to upgrade at that point to the purchasing um, sites of it because I, I wasn't familiar. I didn't want to waste my money. Um, so I started to branch out and I actually found Adobe Spark. Um, which I actually ended up choosing um, to do my graphics on because um, A, I found it a lot easier to use than, than the other programs, but I also felt like I could do more versatility and, and without paying the upcharge, which I most likely will at this point now since I've been on it for the last week solid and I've been able to do um, what I want to do with it. Um, so I did that. Um, I started to create logos. I finally felt I had my logo, um, you know, um, it's the one right on the screen right now. Um, but as a couple days went by, I was kind of like, eh, I'm not so sure about it anymore. So I sent it off to a few set of my colleagues who, um, opinion, um, in the marketing spectrum, um, are very experienced people. And they all kind of came back with, um, it's dated, it's, uh, comes off as young, comes more high school versus college. You know, um, we don't feel like it feels like you're eliminating part of your audience because it is targeted to a younger audience. Um, so, you know, not good things, not terribly bad things. They definitely gave me some suggestions to, to better. Sometimes it's like less is more. Um, it was a very busy graphic. It might take away from my content. Um, so, again, uh, I kind of got my very first week of trying, starting to build my brand. I thought I had it, I felt great for two days, and then I had to start over again. So um, I have a feeling that this is going to be exactly the way um, the next several months are going to be. Um, you know, if I, my following doesn't grow as fast as I would like it to, or so forth and so on, sometimes you have to start over. Um, but trying to get a logo um, was definitely the foundation, because how do I build my content on Instagram? How do I have my symbol on my website that I need to now build? Um, you know, like, what image do I want to represent at Work Lessons 101? Um, and I had all these things in my mind, but being able to, again, go from my mind onto the graphic software um, when you have no experience in it was a learning challenge. So in the end, I ended up doing Adobe Spark. Uh, the graphic on the screen right now is the one I ended up choosing, um, which will represent my website um, as I move forward. So one of the things I also did in my very first week of learning to brand is um, start to develop my website. Um, so I bought the domain um, names about a year ago from GoDaddy, um, worklesson101.com and .net.org and stuff like that. Um, but I hadn't started build, building the website to this past week. Um, so again, someone who doesn't come from a graphics background, who's never built a website, um, I had a steep learning curve. So thank God for YouTube and all the posters out there who, who um, you know, did some WordPress plugin examples for me so I could understand. Um, so there was two choices essentially that I researched was WordPress and um, Website Builder through GoDaddy. Um, I ended up choosing um, Website Builder through GoDaddy. Um, not necessarily because it's the more versatile program. Uh, with all the plugins that you can upgrade with WordPress and download, um, it's definitely a, probably a simpler and more versatile program. But I was able to get a free trial for a month of uh, the website builder. So I was just over the last week started to play with it. As I was concurrently working on my logo, I came up with several designs. You can see the first design that I had um, with my original logo and what it looks like now with my new logo and the one I probably will be moving forward with um, going forward. But you know, it's just picking the theme, picking the content that you want to get on the website. It made me really think um, when I started to get into the details of building the website, exactly how I want to 
link my social media to my website because my website will be essentially the bible of where all my content's held all my videos all my blogs i'm gonna write all my instagram content uh, will all be on my website so if someone misses a week and they're on vacation they can just go to the website and see everything um it's a one-stop go um and it's also going to be the place where I potentially sell my future ebooks um, on, as well as my courses that I'm um, doing, developing for online module courses um, that will probably roll out this coming fall um, as well. And again, it's a place that one person can go. So I ended up choosing to go um, upgrade to the business content um, part of uh, Website Builder with GoDaddy. So it's like a $20, $20 a month. Um, fee. gives you the ability to link all your social media. It gives you a link to put PayPal on it so people can charge right to your account. Um, there's just some little bit more security versatility there that I chose to go with. So when you are choosing your website, obviously that's something you should think of. All the free software out there is free for a reason. It's not nearly as versatile. It's a great way to go out and practice and play with it. Just like I really appreciate GoDaddy giving me a month's trial because it's essentially what won them my business. Um, is that I could figure out and play to see if it could actually give me exactly what I want or I couldn't do that with WordPress um, I just didn't have the, the skills or to figure out that if you could actually get on it again to start a business I needed something where I could really get into the details and really play with it and to see what type of content I can have on this website and GoDaddy was able to supply that for me and therefore they got my business so one of the other things I did this past week is just I chose my social media platforms that I wanted to, but I also started building um, the look for them as well, along with, you know, picking the logo and then building the website. Um, one thing I learned with LinkedIn, the LinkedIn um, app on your phone versus a desktop, the banner looks very different, right? So I believe on the desktop, your, your, um, your head, your headshot is to the left of the banner and then on the, on the app on the phone it's in the middle so again you need to have a banner that is that looks good in both platforms right your desktop versus that versus a phone 60% of the users I believe on LinkedIn use the phone app so again when you're trying to build your following build content how your brand looks how professional looks is really really important so you need to test different things out and that was one thing I learned I thought I had my banner for LinkedIn uh, and then as soon as I put up the app on my phone it was like well half my content because I have my graphic for the for the the banner was right in the middle and my headshot on the on the LinkedIn phone app took it away so that had to be changed right away um, I also rolled out my Facebook kind of look as well as some of my Instagram content graphic I started working on a lot of the content that I want to post um, my goal is to in the next coming weeks is to get three month backlog before I post my first um, work lesson and roll it out um, I'm currently just over eight months pregnant so uh, with, our, with our first child so I'm not sure exactly what to expect so I actually want to roll out the social media campaign after the baby's born when I'm home for a year on maternity leave I have a lot of plans for the next year and how to grow my audience and how to try to get the book published and to roll out my online courses so um, you know being consistent and posting every single day is obviously a big part of that um, so and also not um, being an experienced mother and not understanding how a newborn um, and my time management, my sleep, um, it's going to play out. I want to get the backlog so I can continue to post every single day and continue to grow the business at the same time as tending to my child. Um, so I know I'm kind of taking on a lot, but um, I'm really, I really enjoy it every day. I get look forward to getting up in the morning and getting to my computer and working it. So this past week, you know, not only did I research the social media platforms I built our lo I built the logo I started building the website and I started to develop a good chunk of the content um, for both the YouTube channel and um, the Instagram account um, the Instagram account and LinkedIn accounts will be very similar in content um, I have yet to start the blogs that will be um, part of next week is to try to come up with blog themes topics that link into the, the content of the book without taking from the book itself um, I want to do new uh, material to share with the audience so 
um, when I do roll out my book. Um, that will be new content for the people who purchase the book, as well as the content that's in my blog and on my YouTube channel, um, and the Q&As I'll get from um, the audience. So um, a couple other things I did this week that are worth mentioning is I registered um, the company. Um, I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, so I had to register under the person to... Um, Luckily in BC that rolls out to Canada, so depending on your area or if you're registering a company, you need to look at the local laws. Um, that's about what I accomplished this week, so it's been a busy week. I've learned a ton on the logo and the website designs. Um, I'm sure there's things that um, I have not mentioned that have just slipped my mind, but outside of that, that is um, episode two, which is starting to build a brand. I will expand on that as next week as I start to develop into more content for my social media um, platforms, as well as building more detail into my website. So again, thank you all for uh, following and to listening, and please write to me. I have cannot wait to hear from you all.